Hey y'all and welcome to this budget with me video. This is for the first two weeks in March. I get paid around five times a month through my different side hustles. Um, but the way I break my budget down is I plan with the money that I know for a fact that I'm going to get and I base that time period off of my nine to five income, which is twice a month. And then my additional side hustle money I factor in either um, later or typically they fall within one of those two weeks period. So I just won't touch that money until um, it's time for me to use it. So I have a different bank account that all of my side hustle money goes to. So it kind of stays away from my primary bank account for lack of a better word so that money is just tucked away um and i only use it when i need to so that's how i'm able to kind of manage um all the different payout days and it just makes the most sense for me so i know a lot of people have monthly budgets for me that was just very overwhelming and it wasn't helpful so I do break up my budgets by pay period, again, focusing on my traditional nine to five as my focus points. So that usually looks like um, a first through the 14th and then the 15th through the 30th or the 31st. So join me on my budget. So for this um, two weeks, my income will be $2,243.28 plus an additional, ooh, there's more than this. Excuse me. Plus an additional $890. So if I was to put that in my calculator, this is what I'm starting with. So I did have additional income left over from the month before that I did not use. It's kind of like a, a I don't know why my words aren't working, um, but a buffer. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It's a buffer in my budget that I use and that rolls over. So I'm not going to account for that just yet. What I will do is later go back and see how much of a buffer I have and then decide how I want to distribute those funds. So I start off with my calculator with those two incomes combined to be $3,133.28. So again, this is just based off of the money that I have right now. For the month of February, I made over $1,000 in additional income, um, about $1,800 in additional income. So that money, um, the eight ninety is the is the money that I have. So that's what I'm counting in my budget. But that additional $1,000 is again in that separate bank account as it's coming in. And then that will be factored into the budget for um, March 15th through March 30th. So I will, we'll get into that in a minute, but yeah, just explaining that. So this is what I'm working with right now. And the first thing I do is I start off in my budgeting, budgeted categories. I start off with the numbers that I know for sure that I can't get away from. So the first one being my mortgage. Um, it doesn't change at all. It's always the same thing. And I'm just flipping back to my last budget. And that is $683. And oh my God, I can't believe I just lost the page. That's so annoying. And 52 cents. So what I do is I come back to my calculator This is how much I have left. Keep my running record. I will actually spend this much. Not spending anymore. I will have spent that. So this should be actual leftover. Slash overspend. Which I hope I don't. My maintenance is $809.78 spent this exact amount, zero dollars. Minus 
me using it that much i still have to work for con edison last month it was 70 so i'm gonna come back to this but i'm probably gonna overestimate over guesstimate um car insurance went up it used to be Two eighty eight, but now it is, I think three twelve. So that's not just my car. <laughs> I have a bundle um, with someone else, so it's two cars. Cause that probably looks insane, but I also live in New York, so you know how that goes. Homeowners insurance. I'm not gonna worry about this yet, cause I pay it yearly. Um, I'm probably gonna focus on this in May, cause that's when I'll be completely out of debt, and then I'll just put that money aside all in one. Car note, $333.63. So on my calculator, I, oh, I tend to leave, like I tend to prefer a calculator that shows me the last thing I subtracted because sometimes I just forget. So yeah. So now I'm at $994.35. Um, gas. I'll come back to you because I'm showing you guys my budgets that don't change or my amounts that don't change. This is always 50. And it's 50. I have a doctor's bill that I owe. It's minus 50. And then I had some events this month. That equaled out to around two hundred dollars. It was a little less, but I don't know the exact amount, so I'd rather overguesstimate than underguesstimate. So that leaves me with six hundred ninety-four dollars and thirty-five cents to um, play around with for the rest of my budget. So let me write in my spent columns just so I know what is what. And call it a day. This I'll have to come back to. These two. Dr. Bill is 50. Okay. Now here is where there's more flexibility. So I'm going to start off with utilities because that's something I have to pay. Um, no one's trying to have the utilities cut off. So last month it was $70.79. I just like to overestimate. So I'm going to go with $85. Not that much has changed, but I just rather be safe than sorry. Okay. Up next we have gas. Um, I'm not, I'm trying to think if I'm traveling anywhere in these next two weeks. So I will be going back and forth through Brooklyn. I haven't decided if I'm gonna be driving yet or if I'm going to be taking public transportation. So I'm just gonna overestimate um, just in case, just to have some woke rooms so that leaves me with $534.35. Again, not sure if I'm going to be traveling, so I'm going to give myself some room with Easy Pass. Uh, the Brooklyn toll, I'm trying to think how much it costs, and I don't know because I don't go to Brooklyn because it's far. Um, but I'm just going to say like $40. I don't know. Hopefully it's not that much because that would be ridiculous. But maybe over the course of three days. I don't know. It's like $10 a day. But that's what we're going to go with just in case. Car repair. So this is a sinking fund. Anything with a star has a sinking fund, which means I put a little amount away every pay period. Um, just securing more and more money. So if there is an issue for repairs, I'll have enough money saved up. So I just usually put $20 um, and then over time it grows to be very, very nice. Um, so that includes anything like oil changes, um, tire issues, um, any type of maintenance on a car that is just likely to come up and I just always put $20 in. Sometimes if I have a little bit more left over, I might go back in just to add, but um, this I take out cash and I put $20 into a cash envelope that I just keep 
um, in case a car repair is needed um, because it's bound to happen. Groceries. I always, I always just go over just in, just in case, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna put $75 here. Eating out. I don't, I don't eat out very often anymore. In fact, I haven't eaten out all last week. Um, and I haven't, and I, uh, the way that I meal prep this week, I won't need to eat out either. But again, I'm going to Brooklyn three times this week. I don't know how I might be feeling. So I'm just going to put $50 just to have that flexibility. That leaves me with $349.35. Um, going out, I'll just put $50 here because I have a little bit of room to wiggle. $299.35. Uh, Netflix is how much? You I didn't have Netflix on here. Because I don't think Netflix actually comes through this month. I think I just put it on here every time and like play myself. No, it's not, because if you see here, I have Netflix and Tidal crossed out. So those come out next week. So, I mean, next week, period. So I don't need that. Don't need that. Cosmetics, always need that. $20. Do, do, do. $279.35. So I'm not going to put $20 here in this pile for spent yet, because I haven't taken this out of my... Actually, yes, I did. I have $20 in my purse that I will take out and put that in to my wallet for that or leave it in my wallet for this specifically. I don't know how much I actually will spend, so I'll have to come back to that later on, which is no big deal. All right, so that leaves me with all of my like necessities paid, f paid for or budgeted for clothes. I'm like trying to think if I have anything. I'm gonna just say no, no clothes for the two weeks. Just because I, I don't have any like major events coming up or needing to buy any clothes. And even if I did, I have so many clothes that it's like super unnecessary. So I have $279.35 left over for this check. And I'm doing a zero base budget, which a zero base budget was which means I need to spend every single dollar. So how do I want to play this? So this is my additional income. Again, that hasn't really come, come in yet. So these are kind of my categories. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this money. And the thing with the zero base budget is that you want to make sure that every dime is literally accounted for and has a place to go. So I actually, oh my goodness, this is so annoying. I actually have about $600 left over in my account from the last pay period. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that additional income. Um, yikes. Not that this is a bad thing, right? Oh my God, I have too much money left over. Um, but literally my check for next pay period is all freed money. Like the only things I have to pay for um, next pay period are literally my title and my Netflix. Those are the only things. Oh, title, Netflix, gas, and groceries are the only things that I have to plan for to budget. Um, so I usually throw that all at my debt, but like I said before, I want to do more of a passion plan it, passion plan and budget, um, just because I'm so close to paying off my debt and my payoff date mm -hmm. is still going to be like April 17th. Um, so a couple hundred dollars here and there isn't going to make the biggest difference in the world world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set aside, how do I want to, how do I want to do this? Okay. 
Why do I want to play this? It's a great question. All right. So what I'm thinking is spring break is coming up in April. So that's where I'm going to focus. my money on. I do also have some, and by some, I mean, I have a lot of points to redeem for air travel as well. So what I'm trying to figure out is do I want to buy my plane tickets using points or paying for them? And I haven't decided that yet. Oh, you know what? I didn't do a home goods category. So let me do that. And I'll do this for... Towels. This is, this is like paper towels, soap, um, I'll do 30, I'll do 35, $35. So minus 35, leaves me with $244.35, okay. So you know what I'm gonna do because April until vacation, I'm gonna throw two hundred dollars here for spring break, and then so minus two hundred, and then leave the rest for this other party to celebrate my girlfriend getting married. But that's not happening until July. So that's just so many to play around. So minus $4. So this is my zero base budget. It goes on a zero. That's what I plan to do for these next two weeks. On the other $600, I'm going to have to take a look at it and figure it out. I'm going to leave probably $150 just again to be a buffer. And the other $450, I will figure out what to do. So yes, this is, this is that. And then the debt, I will fill in um, after my additional income comes in for the month of February, which will be around $1,000. So $1,000 will go towards debt. And yeah, I write in pencil at first and then go back and like write in marker when I do the actuals, just because again, a budget is a living, breathing thing. So I might go back, have to change some things around, but I feel good about this so far. And that's that on that. Thanks for budgeting with me. Um, and I will see you all in a couple weeks. Maybe I'll do my other budget because that's super fun because literally, like I said, I only have four expenses on my second pay period, which is my gas, groceries, Netflix, and title. And then I get to keep all the rest of it um, to either throw out debt or to play around with. Obviously, I have been really focused on debt repayment. So that's where all that money has been going, has been going for a long time. Um, but in a couple months, I'm going to have some room to do some investments and, and other fun things. So yeah, in the meantime, in between time, stay blessed and stick to your budget. Bye.